Hey everybody. Today we're going to take a look at a utility called IPTRAF NG. This is a Linux only utility, command line based. Let's jump into it. So if we launch IPTRAF NG as a root or sudo user, you'll get presented with a screen as you're seeing currently. And you've got different things you can do with this. So this is running on my Proxmox server and we'll go to IP traffic monitor to start with. And the main interface on Proxmox is the VM bridge zero. And we'll take a look at that. As you can see, the packets are being inspected, captured. They're not saved in this utility, but you've got a display down at the bottom that tells you what's being captured. We've got number of packets, number of bytes, flags, and the interface listed here. And then the, the TCP connection listed here on the left hand side. As you can see down here at the bottom, X to exit. It'll get you back to the menu. General interface statistics. Again, this is gonna list all the interfaces on your particular Linux box. We've got total, IPv4, IPv6, non-IP, and bad IP listed. And then the activity is listed in kilobits per second. Broke down for, again for each interface. Obviously, if you have more interfaces and what will fit on a single screen you can use page up and page down to scroll the window and again x to get back to the menu detailed interface statistics you can look again at our vm bridge likewise we've got a slightly different way of presenting the information total packets bytes incoming and outgoing packets and incoming and outgoing bytes as a total. Broke down for IPv4 and 6, TCP, UDP, ICMP, other IP, non-IP, and broadcast. So we are on host 74.228. ICMP is currently reading zero. So if we come over to the Mac side, we will ping our host. And now as you can see, ICMP is going up and that is great. And again, X to exit back to your menu. We've got statistical breakdowns. We can do this by packet size or TCP UDP port. Again, we can select the interface and it will break things down. In this case, we are connected via SSH. So that's all good. And we've got our protocol data rates down here at the bottom. Again, X to get back to the menu. We've got land station monitor. Let's do all interfaces for this. Again, packets in, IP in, bytes in rate, packets out, IP out, bytes out, and out rate. Just a nice utility to have available. We've got filters, and obviously there are settings that we can go into these are not visible currently but if we go to configure we've got some power here reverse dns lookups we can change the settings by hitting enter again tcp udp service names force promiscuous mode which you may want to do color logging which could be useful in certain use cases. Activity mode, kilobits or kilobytes per second. Source MAC address and traffic monitor, that's currently turned off. Show IPv6 in IPv4 traffic as IPv6. We could turn that off. And we've got timers. TCP timeouts 15 minutes. Log for 60 minutes. Additional ports, delete port or range and then a few other things here exit configuration We've got some about information obviously this hasn't been updated in a while but it is still useful 
because it was written in such a way where its usefulness continues on. There haven't been breaking changes. So that is just a short look at IPTRAFNG. We exit and our command to install it is apt install IPTRAF-NG. And I always do dash Y so I can avoid one additional prompt. This works for Debian based systems. So what do you think? Do you have a use for this utility? I think in the case of potentially some cloud servers or a Docker box, this could be very useful just to keep track of what's happening and have useful utilities available at the command line when you may not have a GUI available. This is especially useful, I would say, on low-powered cloud servers, the $5 a month variety, for instance. You may want to have a utility like this so you can check those servers occasionally and just make sure that nothing odd is happening with them. So again, IPTRAFNG, useful utility for statistics and just monitoring to make sure you don't have some crazy weird nonsense going on with your server. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.